Today we have Carmen in from Pengelly's Fishmongers in Liscard. She'll be making a lovely fish pie with fresh local ingredients. Hello, I'm Carmen from Pengelly's Fishmongers in Liscard. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be making my very, very special fish pie. It's gluten free and perfect for the hungry mm. musician. Uh, this is one of your recipes? It's one of my very special recipes. I cook it every time we have musicians in the house. Mm -hmm. um, it's a speciality yeah. dish. Um, it doesn't include any cream. Um, it's gluten free as well. Okay. And um, it just looks absolutely adorable. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Should we get on with the recipe? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Here are the ingredients for the fish pie. Some leeks, a red pepper, lemon, garlic, parsley, potatoes, butter, salt and pepper and of course fish. So let's prepare the potatoes. These are Cornish new potatoes and we'll peel them with a potato peeler and then we'll slice them so that they can sit on top of the fish pie. Here's the potatoes that I've peeled and washed and now I'm going to slice them with a fish pie. So now I'm going to put the, pe the peeled and sliced potatoes into the pot. And then I'm going to put some water in just to cover. And now I'm going to figure out how this works and set it to boil water. So we'll leave it to boil for 20 minutes until the sliced potatoes are ready. So now I'm going to butter the dish for the fish pie. So we're going to slice the leeks in thin slices, take off the end bit there. So I'm putting the leeks now into the bottom of the dish, just scattering them over. They should just about cover. I'm now I'm going to slice the red pepper. I'm going to put the red peppers on top of the leeks. Okay. So I've got some beautiful fresh fish from the counter at Pengelly's. Uh, it's been skinned and diced and is absolutely just perfect for fish pie. Here's our fresh locally caught fish. We've got some nice uh, white fish haddock today and a little bit of monkfish, bit of bit of luxury there. We've got some uh, smoked haddock and we've got some salmon in the mix. So I'm going to take the fish and I'm going to scatter over the dish. I'll try and spread it out evenly over the dish. So there's plenty here for a good family meal. So I'm now going to uh, chop some garlic and scatter it over the pie. So we scatter that over the pie mix. There we go. It's the parsley. Picked up this morning from Beddoes and now I'm going to chop it. I'm going to scatter the parsley over the fish pie mixture. Okay. So I'm going to use a lemon squeezer to squeeze the juice over the pie mix. Give it a nice turn there. There we go, it's one half. Just pour it gently over. So the potatoes are just done and I'm going to drain them in a colander. Take great care because it's hot, hot water. And I'll leave them there just for a few moments. So now I'm going to place the potatoes over the fish pie. It's quite a delicate operation. And 
this will be a good family uh, family dish for maybe six people, maybe even eight. It's absolutely stunning first class. And for a finishing touch, I'm going to dot butter over the potatoes. There we go, and here's the dish ready to go into the oven. So I'm going to put this wonderful dish into the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. Here's the finished dish. <laughs> wow. That didn't actually take very long at all, did it? No. It was really, really quick to make mm. and so simple. And I love the mashed potato effect. Yeah, looks good. It looks very good. Certainly adds to it. Mm. So if you were to make this at home and you came into your shop, how would the fish be brought? Would it be brought? So you can choose. We can either have a ready-made fish pie mix. Mm -hmm or you can select um, different types of fish from the counter yeah. and we'll skin it and slice it for you so it's ready for you to start preparing your fish pie. That couldn't be easier, could it? It's so <laughs> simple.